So we are going to do part B, listening. Yes. Round one, set of six questions. We are going to learn how to drag the audio, follow the message, identify the questions, and then give the answers. Ray Sands. I'm going to show you the connections actually. I'm going to show you the connections. How to identify these answers. So, you can just mention your problems in listening before we start. You can mention your problems in listening. Yes, good evening, Ahmed. So, you people can discuss. Yeah, Roja, good evening. Yes.
Yes. Now here is the question number one. Go through the question and try to study and understand. Try to analyze the question. Try to understand the question. Try to analyze each and every bit of the question. Yes. So, let us see the question very carefully here. We have to study the question before. Listening is easy, but studying is very difficult. Studying is very difficult. So, you have to focus on this study particularly. Yeah. All right. You hear a nurse briefing her colleague about a patient. 
you hear you hear a nurse briefing her colleague about a patient so that means there are two people here there are two people here right there are two people one is a nurse and the second one is her colleague let us try to understand so there are two people there is a nurse and there is a colleague two people are speaking so now try to understand what is the background story then it will be very easy for you to follow up you hear a nurse briefing her colleague about a patient so you hear a nurse briefing her colleague about a patient what do you mean by this so what occasion may be why is she briefing what is going to happen that means she knows everything about the patient but the colleague doesn't know about the patient so she may not have an idea about what happened and what she has to do so she is briefing that means maybe she is charged changing her shift is finishing and the next shift person is coming so what does she warn her colleague about what does she warn her colleague about try to understand that particular point warning she is warning because there is a problem there is some problem and that problem should be addressed taken care of or avoided that problem should be avoided or taken care of that problem should not happen there is a problem which should be avoided now what is the problem here the patient is allergic to some type of antibiotics so antibiotics are not problem allergy is a problem so allergy is a problem so think about allergy the patient has some allergies or he is allergic the patient has some allergies or the patient is allergic so uh who is there who can write my sentences who can write my sentences yeah okay anybody who wants to write my sentences you can write them people who want to write the sentences which i am explaining can write them okay so she is warning her colleague about something so the patient is allergic allergy of the patient antibiotics is not a problem patient is not a problem some types of antibiotics are also not problem but he has some allergies so this is the main problem this is the main problem allergy the patient is allergic that means he has allergies the patient is allergic or he has allergies okay now there is a problem that is why she is warning maybe that is why she is warning maybe 
okay next one care must be taken to prevent the patient from falling the patient is not strong enough the patient may fall down the patient may fall down so falling is the problem so she may be warning to take care of the patient because he may fall so see that he will not fall down see that he will not fall down so falling down is the problem okay so how to study the question is very important here how to study the question is very important yeah next one oxygen may be needed if the patient becomes breathless so breathless so breath is the problem he may become breathless okay he may become breathless so first one is the patient is allergic to some types of antibiotics the patient is allergic to some types of antibiotics so allergy is the problem patient is not the problem antibiotics are also not the problem so what is the problem allergies are the problem next care must be taken to prevent the patient from falling the patient may fall if he falls down maybe he will break his bones or he may get hurt he may get hurt so what are you supposed to do you have to safeguard him he should not fall down so falling is the problem next one is oxygen may be needed oxygen may be needed if the patient becomes breathless so oxygen is not a problem patient is not a problem but breathlessness is a problem patient can become breathless problem with breathing breathing problem so she is warning about a particular type of problem she is warning regarding a particular type of problem this warning is maybe allergy or this warning is falling down or warning because of breathlessness now you have to focus on these three particular things you have to focus on these three particular things if you focus on these things then only it will be easy for you to understand so you have to focus on allergies you have to focus on falling and you have to focus on breathlessness this is one angle of the story the second angle is the nurse is warning the colleague about a patient because till now she has taken care of the patient and now she is going off her shift so another nurse will be taking care of this patient so now before her how was the condition now at her time how was how is the condition and in the future after she leaves what will be the condition so problem related to past or problem related to present or problem related to future so now the patient is the nurse is warning her colleague about the patient so that she will be taking care of her in the future because she is leaving now she is leaving now 
and the new nurse will take charge so she is talking about the future so whenever there is a future be very careful whenever there is a future be very careful so that is the problem there so what is he telling in the future that's more important everything is fine 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 but you have to take care of this because this is the problem what is the problem that means in the future what she has to take care of in the future so you have to focus on this thing particular okay right now 30 seconds focus on this question 30 seconds focus on this question because you should not miss the answer what all i told you recall Who's mic is on? Who's saying? Yeah. All right. Focus on these particular things now. Yeah. I'm going to play the audio now. Part B. In this part of the test, you'll hear six different extracts. In each extract, you'll hear people talking in a different healthcare setting. For questions 25 to 30, choose the answer A, B, or C, which fits best according to what you hear. You'll have time to read each question before you listen. Complete your answers as you listen. Now look at question 25. You hear a nurse briefing her colleague about a patient. Now read the question. Mrs Green was admitted last night for pneumonia. She came in yesterday with a cough, fever, dizziness and chest discomfort. Mm -hmm. She's a healthy 60-year-old with a history of right knee replacement five years ago. Mm. She's on a regular diet and has no allergies. She's at high risk for falls due to her dizziness. We changed her IV antibiotics to oral, which she's tolerating well. Mm, her assessment is within normal limits, except for some mild shortness of breath and wheezing. 
Her vital signs are stable, oxygen saturation is 98% on one litre, and she's been comfortable during my shift. Hmm. Around 5.30, I gave her two paracetamol for minor pain with good results. She has an 18 gauge in her left arm. Yep. She's got normal saline at 15 mils per hour. Okay. Question 26. You hear the manager of a care home for the elderly talking to the nursing staff. Yeah. Sir, we have got the point now. Now what you do is don't write the answer until I tell you, please. New students. Okay. Question. Yeah. Um, LB0001. Okay. Right, listening part B, 001 question. Yes. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Submit your answer. Yes, yeah, this is what you have to do. Yes. Now let us check the answer. Yes, listening, part C. So you have many uh, listening tests here I have given. You can go through them. Just type listening part B and you can go through this. This is Candice May. Okay. Right. Different, different tests are there here. You can see. All the different questions. You can go through this and you can learn. A lot of tests are given. You see here question number eight, Candice May. Question number 29. Yeah, like this. All question number 30, explanation. Each question. I have given a number of uh, lectures like this. You can go through them. See here how explanation is given. Okay. So you can follow these things and you can update. See at question number 30, part B. Okay. This is an explanation. All right. So the number of sessions like this. Yeah. This is Dr. Robson. Video is there here. You can check in the video. So test, you can just click here, ABC answer. You can listen, okay? And you can check and you can get the answer here, this. Okay, explanation also is given. So, all right. Now, so here, I'm going to give you the answer now. 
and just click yeah the answer is b the answer is b 25th is b yeah the answer number 25 question number 25 is b so if you have got the mark correct answer then write one by one if you got a wrong mark then write zero by one so update your scores update your scores please yeah Yes, this is how you have to write. Okay, now let us see why this answer, how this answer, how you are thinking style. You got the answer right. Maybe you got the answer wrong. That's not a problem. Is our mindset going right or not? That's what we have to see. Okay, that is what we have to see. Now let us see that now. Uh, this is audio script. This is the audio script. Okay, this is 25. This is the 25 question number 25. Now what I'm doing is, I'm taking a new blank page. Okay, this is a new blank page. Yeah, new blank page. Now in this new blank page, what I'm doing is, okay. Yeah, this one. Um, okay. Right. Nurse is speaking. We don't want nurse also. We know. Already that nurse is speaking. Okay. Okay. So nurse is speaking. This is the point. Right next. Other questions. Okay. And go to the question paper. This is the question paper. I'm going to show you how your mind must work. If you don't want, no problem. But this technique you can apply everywhere.
Okay. Just for a convenience purpose, I have given like this. Yeah. That is just to have an idea about this one. I brought both of them here. Right. Now let us see. Here, one is past, one is present, one is future. So warning will be related to future. I'm telling you the techniques. Okay. I'm telling you regarding the techniques. Here he, she is telling warning. You will not give warning about the past actions. You will not give warning about the present actions. You will be war give warning for the future things. So, warning may be related to allergy. This warning may be related to allergy, may be related to falling, may be related to breathlessness. Now, let us see. Past tense, present tense, future tense. Check in her future tense. Okay. Right. Now, let us see. Here it is. This is the problem. So this is it. It's very simple. She is at a high risk for falls due to her dizziness. Dizziness. High risk falls. Everything is there here. So this is how you will get that get the answer. And you listen everything, you will not get the answer. But this particular sentence only will give you the answer. This is one point. This is called induction method or inductive method. That means you take the answer and you will get that this answer is right. This answer is right. Now let us see. So here, fall, okay, high risk. So care should be taken. She is at high risk. Okay, she is at high risk for falls due to her dizziness. So care must be taken to prevent the patient from falling. So that's it. So this is the right answer. Supposing like that. Okay, now let us see the other things. Allergy. Where is allergy? Now let us see here. Allergy. Has no allergies. Has no allergies. The patient, she is on a regular diet and has no allergies. Now which is correct? Passage is correct. So this is wrong. This is wrong. She has no allergies. So A is wrong. Elimination method. We call this as elimination method. If you miss the right answer, at least you can know from the elimination method at least. 
has no allergies finished so a is ruled out next one oxygen may be needed if the patient becomes breathless her vital signs are stable oxygen saturation is 98% on 1 liter oxygen saturation her vital signs are stable and oxygen saturation is 98% on 1 liter 98% on 1 liter so stable her vital signs are stable and oxygen saturation is 98% so what is the problem here so this is perfect condition almost 100% so how can she become breathless she cannot become breathless because saturation is 98% Okay, she cannot become uh, breathless because her oxygen saturation is 98% on 1 liter and the vital signs are stable. So C is also ruled out. So why I am telling you this deductive method? Because sometimes you will miss this particular sentence. You will miss this particular sentence. So you should not miss this sentence. See here, very small, one sentence. Yeah. This is the sentence. If you miss this sentence, if you do not hear properly, you will lose this. A particular minute, you have to be very careful. But for example, if I am doing the test, I will use both inductive and a deductive method. So if I miss the answer also, still I will get the answer. Because I am eliminating two answers. So automatically the remaining answer, even if I am not here, then that means I am going to get the answer. Right. Fourteen students are there. Now I'm asking you. Okay. Now I'm showing you here the connections. Yeah. Now let us see. Warning regarding the risk. And the risk is false. Okay. She has a dizziness. So care should be taken. Okay. Care should be taken. So if care is taken, if care is taken, if care is taken, you can prevent dizziness so dizziness because of dizziness she may fall so you can prevent the patient from falling so that is how we have to understand okay some allergics no allergics see this is some this is some allergies this is no allergies here some allergies, here no allergies. That is why this answer is wrong. Okay. No allergies. The next one, oxygen saturation. Oxygen may be needed if the patient becomes breathless. How can he become breathless? Because his saturation is... Ninety-eight percent. So this also is 
excluded. That's why I gave red marks. Red marks. Right. So questions you have to understand like this. Then only it will be easy for you to analyze the point. Yeah. Yeah, I gave an explanation there for listening question number one. Now, I want you to give your feedback, your feedback. Now, what new things did you learn? Inductive method, deductive method, elimination technique, okay, confirming the answer, okay. So what did you learn in this question? You have to apply in the next two. So just recall. Write one or two sentences. What did you learn in this question? Yeah, that means this elimination method. What about others? What else you have learned? Come on, come on, write down whatever you have learned, write down. Answer is just coming like that and going. Maybe you may not, you may miss, but still you should not miss the answer. That is what I'm telling you. This is technique. Yeah. So if you give only, then I will teach the next one. Na? You have to write your points. If it is beneficial to you, then only I'll teach other things. Yeah, many students have given their points. Okay. So share your experience. What points you have written? Write down some points so that what you will know was it whether useful or not. If you don't write anything, then we think that it is not useful for us.
Yes. Now we'll go to the second question. This is the 26th question, that is number two. Study this question carefully. Study the question very carefully. Same, same like how I taught before, like that you try to analyze. Yes. Now this is listening. There will not be any paragraph. Audio listening. I'll play the audio. But before that, I'm going to explain. Na? Yeah. Let us see here. Okay. Let us see here. You hear the manager of a care home. You hear the manager of the care home for the elderly talking to the nursing staff. It's a meeting. He says that errors. Errors means again problems. Errors means problems. Errors in problems. Errors means 
problems. Errors in dispensing medication to patients usually result from. This is cause and effect relationship. Errors from what? Okay, what is the cause? Result from means cause. Cause. Find out the cause there. So the cause may be calculating dosages is not an error, is not a problem. Interruptions is an error. So maybe interruptions while calculating dosages. He's talking about dosages here. He's talking about dosages. The next one, a failure to check patient's allergies. So allergies, failure to check, not checking, avoiding checking, not checking, a failure to check. Patient's allergies, failure to check, not checking. Administering drugs is not a problem. Late in the day, late, means later part of the day, not morning, maybe afternoon or evening, late in the day, means afternoon or evening, not early in the day, later in the day, means after 12, afternoon. So the problem may be interruptions. The problem may be interruptions. The problem may be failure to check, not checking. The problem may be late administration. So what he is talking exactly here, I'm going to show you one more comparison. This is regarding dosages. This is regarding dosages. And this is regarding allergies. And this is regarding drugs. Problem with the dosage means how much? So that's the problem. The second one is allergies, not checking. So that may be a problem. Administering drugs late. So late administration is a problem. Early in the morning, no problem, but late is a problem like that. So this is the way how you have to analyze the question. Right. I'm going to play the audio now. Left arm, yep. she's got normal saline at 15 mils per hour. Okay. Question 26. You hear the manager of a care home for the elderly talking to the nursing staff. Now read the question. Now, a quick word about the administration of medication. It's great to see how carefully you're all following the new guidelines, and thanks to this, error rates, which were always below average anyhow here, have dropped by 40%. The surveys we've done also throw up some interesting findings, like mistakes being more common in the morning than afternoons or evenings. We're not sure why, but there's a clear pattern. Also, we know that being disturbed for any reason while working out and preparing doses is a common reason for mistakes. So please, try and avoid distracting your colleagues while they're doing this. Finally, we must be on the lookout for drug interactions, side effects, and patient sensitivities. Fortunately, we haven't had too many problems of this nature, but the care needs of the vast majority of our residents are often quite complex. Question 27. 
You hear part of a morning briefing on a hospital ward. Now read the question. Yeah. No. Yes. Question LB0002. Yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and submit. You have to submit the answers after I give the question number. Otherwise, I think it is the previous questions number. Right. Fine. Now let us see here. Okay. Next question is here. So this is the paragraph. Yeah, question number 26. Yeah. So yes. Now you can see very clearly here. Now, problem, interruptions while calculation dosages. Now let us see here now. Right. Also, we know that being disturbed for any reason, disturbed, being disturbed, Being disturbed. Being disturbed. Now, what do we mean by being disturbed? Being disturbed means interruptions, disturbance. Okay. Being disturbed. Interruptions by any reason while while working out and preparing working out and preparing doses dosages calculating. Calculating, calculating means working out, 
and preparing. So see that one there very clearly. Okay. Right. Interruptions means disturbances in between. While means during. Calculating, working out. Doses. Dosages. Okay. Let us check our answer whether it is right or wrong. Yeah. 26th answer is A. 26th answer is A. So, right. Yes. Yeah. So, you have to analyze how the questions are going, right? Right. Now, this elimination technique, this is the induction method. Now, I'm going to show you elimination technique. Changing the color, red. Now, yeah, administering drugs late in the day. Administering drugs late in the day, okay. Right, so, the surveys we have done also throw up some interesting findings, like mistakes being more common in the morning. Morning, mistakes more common in the morning than afternoons or evening. Later part of the day, no mistakes. In the morning, early morning, we are doing mistakes. In the morning. But here, late in the day. Okay. Here in the morning, morning is early. Later part is after 12 o'clock, the mistakes will be less. Morning, morning, if you are working, mistakes may be more. So that's what he's telling. So she is ruled out. She is ruled out. In the morning, cannot be the answer. In the morning cannot be the answer because he has told late in the day. Morning cannot be late in the day. Okay. So problems, errors may happen because in the morning, not in the afternoon or evening. So you have to remember that. Next one, failure to check for patients' allergies. Failure to check for patients' allergies. Okay. Right. But that is not mentioned here. Okay. So we can take this one as A is the right answer. A is the right answer.
Yeah. So this is how you have to do the points. Yeah. Dr. Ahmed Rashid. Yes, sir. Good evening. Yeah. Were the points helpful to you? Same. All the questions are like yes. that only. Now you apply these techniques to the other questions. Yeah. Share your experience, Dr. Ahmed. Yes, a very nice explanation and analysis of analysis of uh, given answers, so that you can exclude the wrong and uh, predict uh, even the right one. If you didn't understand even clearly, the answer can be uh, predicted by exclusion. Yes. So in this session, uh, open session, so we are giving only two sessions for the regular students. We are giving more say, uh, more questions. All the six questions will be discussing, or sometimes even 12 questions will be discussing, and the doubts will be cleared personally. So if anybody is interested, you can join for the program, and you can contact me on the number. This is my number. Plus 919877837360. This is my number. So you can contact me there. Right, what's up? The next one. Uh, Deepa. Girija Franklin. You attended only one question, I think. Ne, Girija? Hello? Hello, Girija. Both I attended, sir. Okay, then, then you can give the answer. I thought you came a little late, so maybe you missed. I was thinking. Yeah, share your I came late, but I attended. Yeah, it was uh, it was too uh, it was nice, sir. Like well well explanation. So do you and think the that way you connected is, the dots? Yeah, do do you think that this explanation? Why, um, because I gave you, you can understand how things are going on. Can you try these questions and other questions also? Yes, sir. Okay, you can try like that one. So, oh. how different, how, what, what, uh, name one thing that you learned today, Irija? Today, like, um, just uh, uh, that uh, for the first one, no, care of. Uh, prevent uh, like uh, dizziness and all it was there only but we couldn't make out sir like how you connected it was awesome sir mm. um, yeah. that was uh, one thing that was the thing i learned my it was uh, new for me like mm. like how to connect the dots yeah and reading we reading uh, we always you will do it but listening the uh, first time i think i learned that mm. Yeah, because it will come and go. No, nothing is in front of you. Once yeah. reading again and again, you can read two, three I, times. Yeah, you, we can read, but listening once it's gone, gone. That's it. Yeah, that is only a small part of the sentence. If that is gone, gone. Hmm. Okay, next. Thank uh, you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Next, uh, Mahesh. Mahesh. Okay, next Raman. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, what did you learn, Raman, today? Uh, yes, sir, today I learned how to I can eliminate and how I can ensure myself for correct turns. Yeah, good. And next one, uh, Tasneem. Tasneem. Yes, sir. Yeah. Share your experience, Tasneem. Uh, sir, I have learned how to read question carefully first. And after that, how we can find out the keywords. And after finding the keywords, when this thing is start, then uh, how we can find out the answers for us. So like elimination method, detection method. 
so it's uh, i have learned today this very good so these are all our regular students so all of you can uh, attend regularly now i am going to send you number of uh, slides and videos you can go through them every day i am sending them if those are my videos which i have made earlier so i am giving you the links so that you can go through them whichever you are comfortable with you can follow and practice learning and now i'll go for the sessions writing correction so those students who have done i'm going to write the uh, correct the letters give them feedback and send them so from morning to evening i'm available so anybody whenever you are free you can just message me so that i can give you uh, writing feedback and also i'm taking speaking sessions okay fine that's very good have a nice day apply these techniques apply these techniques without fail for the next questions it will help you good night